time for the Maggie book club question. We've got Livewire coming out. We've got Sick Puppy, Dead Pile, Shock Jock just released, and Buckle Bunny came out as a USA Today bestseller with Love Under Fire, and the full version will release um, in a couple of months. Meanwhile, it's available to my patrons on Patreon. So it's all about Maggie these days. And in the last um, blog, the It's All About Maggie blog, we talked about what book club question she wanted to answer. So you're going to have to let me be her translator since she can't actually appear on video. But what she wanted to tackle was, Maggie isn't shy about sex or alcohol. Did you find her behavior self-indulgent? What reasons could you find to account for her behavior? So answering as Maggie. First of all, I have on my Johnny Was clothes. So I'm channeling as much Maggie as I can get being 52 years old and blonde. But um, sex and alcohol. Um, Maggie wants you to know that once upon a time she did rehab. Well, she did it twice. But her rehab was for drugs and that she doesn't think she's ever had the same problem with alcohol. Notwithstanding what other people might say about addictive personalities, she does seem to, um, from my perspective, have a problem with um, using substances um, in a way that is to calm demons and that might suggest she's addictive. But what she has to say about it is, everybody else gets to have a good time, and I don't see why the hell I can't have a good time, too. Sex is fun. Booze is fun. And what is fun but self-indulgence? And why do you get to have it and I don't? So I don't see how I live my life um, being a problem to you. I mean, what effect do I have on your life? Zero. I'm just me being me, doing me in Texas and Wyoming while you're off doing your thing and being you and I'm not complaining about how you live your life. Um, as to how to account for my behaviors, I don't have to account to you or anybody else. I do what I want to do, period. Now, as Pamela, I will say that her behavior is self-indulgent. Maggie doesn't have anybody else to worry about except for herself, for the most part. Um, on the other hand, her behavior is I think bigger than self-indulgence, it is um, self-soothing, that Maggie's constantly trying to find a way to make it easier to be Maggie, and that when being Maggie is easier, she drinks less, and when she's worrying about somebody other than herself, she drinks less. Maybe that second part is more telling.